Hello Galactic Family. Divinity is a great theme in 2017. In fact, your presence is the confirmation that we have reached a significant milestone in our ascension cycle. But this does not involve being holy, because the deity is all about wholeness, not holiness. This type of deity is an energetic process where our energy is complete, where everything in our life flows in harmony a process we started in 2016 and all our energy is moving in the same direction without blockages or limits. How is this year going to be different from the others, where we start this year with high hopes and then we fight all year round and so, at the end of the year, we feel we have not made any progress. It can be different or equal, we have the power to control this. But we do not have the limitations of this year, which we had in previous years, and we are starting a new cycle. One of the ways in which we access our divinity is by recognizing ourselves, recognizing our own perfection, our power, courage and beauty. Stop for a moment and say to yourself, I'm wonderful. How do you feel, foolish? self-conscious, ashamed. Or do you believe it? Now say I am powerful, strong and perfect. Say this as often as you can in the next 24 hours. Recognition is one of the lessons and comes with a powerful energy exercise. I'll share more about this in the coming days. Remember, your beauty is part of your divinity. You deserve to believe in her beauty and express it in your life. We are in the final stretch now and you may be feeling the tension as well, while we eliminate the energy of 2016 to prepare for a new year. The last week of the year is always strange to me, for I feel as if I am walking between two worlds, what I am leaving and the one I am entering. And it is especially true this year because we have closed the long nine-year cycle that has taken us through many levels of transformation at all levels and we are preparing for a new cycle that will take us out of our energy crisis and into an entirely new paradigm. If you've been waiting for evidence of the 5D paradigms, you do not have to look far. In order to go from here to there is the hallway and that's where we are now. This is our message for this week. The last week of any year is a strange blend of energies as we look forward to the new start we hope will be different from the previous year. This year, the move from 2016 to 2017 is very unusual and is something very big, which may be why we are so impatient for it to begin. As we move from one paradigm to another, because entering 2017 is a major paradigm shift from 3D to 5D, and we are making the transition to a new energy paradigm, we have to spend some time in the hallway, which is a very space uncomfortable between two worlds. Navigating in this interdimensional corridor is uncomfortable, but it keeps the information we need to ensure that our new beginnings are truly new and they allow us to do some energy cleansing because in 2017 everything is about energy. To know the real reason why this new year is so important, we have to return to 2007, which is when this nine-year cycle began. For me, it was the end of my corporate career as my sixth layoff happened in July 2007 and I realized that my career in technology would not happen the way I expected. Although I had known since 2003 that Archangel Earl had invited me it was an invitation with no choice to become the teacher and guide that I am now, I was not prepared to do this full time. 2007 was the year I left the corporate world to start my business full-time. I have been in two worlds, the business and the self, until that moment. And while I enjoyed my work and found it very gratifying, it was a great change for me when I gave up the corporate dream that I had worked hard for decades. What did you start or end in 2007, which is coming to full circle now? so you can take it to the next level. 
we cannot rule out the influence of many astrological events that are happening this week, which are quite rare and unusual and involve all the planetary bodies that are part of our solar system and our energy system. Having a significant number of outer planets in the same degree, in complementary signs and aspecting the others is very unusual considering the length of their cycles and their long retrograde ones. They are the support in this move from 3D to 5D, and the accompanying cleaning work is thus open to receive cleanliness. If you are in this interdimensional corridor, and the movement from 2016 to 2017 is a dimensional change, and you are feeling a wide range of emotions, or you have strange outbursts of anger or sadness, it is because you are in a review period now. The corridor between worlds is not empty, it is full of energies and experiences of this cycle, from 2007 to 2016, as well as others that we are completing now. Our energetic past is calling us for the last time, wondering if we want to keep it or release it, bring it with us into our new world, or abandon it in the old. Our point of decision is to ask whether this supports our vision and intention for the reality we desire or not. And if this does not occur then the revolving door of energy will take you away while it announces new potentials and possibilities. We are in a powerful week and if it seems a bit oppressive, it is because we are processing the energy of the last nine years, as well as that of many cycles before this. We are crossing the 4D bridge into a new paradigm of 5D and although this is exciting, it is also a little scary and oppressive. We've never been here before. Ascension is moving at high speed now, and while we have wished this to happen, there is a difference between wanting something to happen and actually being in the middle of it. It's pretty much like being pregnant and wanting the baby to be born, then going into a difficult labor and understanding that it will be uncomfortable and confusing for some time, before the baby really is born. We are in a difficult birth now, and this does not necessarily mean work. It means that we are purging the past to release everything that cannot accompany us to the new paradigms of 5D. They do not operate on a frequency that tolerates fear, karma, doubt and density. They are empowerment, creation, self-awareness, and energy mastery. For us, this is a choice between energy sovereignty or energy enslavement. We are prepared for this. So let's make the most of our time in the interdimensional corridor and choose what we know will bring us a more fulfilling, empowering, fun, joyful and light-filled life in 2017. Use this time to do your last energetic cleansing to prepare for our new year, new beginnings and a new paradigm for the spiritual human. We are almost there.